today I'm making a remote switch for my antennas. I'm going to go through and how I went through the process of building this and some of the materials I used. The reason in the application that I'm using this for is so I can switch to different antennas from one feed line from in the house. I'm going to be operating four different dipole antennas off a quad band radio. I dismantled a stereo head unit to utilize the fuse slot in the back of the head unit to install into my switch box I'm building here. This is the rotary style selector switch that I ordered from Amazon and the wiring diagram. The switch, the relay boards, and the LEDs were all around 30 bucks, so it was low cost to build this project. Here I flattened a half inch copper pipe to install the PL259 connectors for each antenna wire. I drilled and tapped it so I could put, put it together with machine screws. Here's a picture of the finished product. Okay, next I'm going to cover the relays that I ordered. When you order them, make sure that they are designed for handling the load and voltage that you're going to be working with. I used a Cat5e cable to operate these relays. In this video, I have a short section there just for testing. I used two double relay modules and I labeled one A and the other one B. This will make sense later. And this is how I wired it up. The power feed goes here. At the bottom of the board, the activation wires are wired in. At the top, the antenna signal is relayed across the relays depending on which relay I select with the rotary switch. I ordered a waterproof electrical box to mount up at the antennas for to hold these relays. I'm going to show you the box all put together and when you select a position on the selector switch what relay it activates. And this will be the main feed line that comes into the box to the center connector. And when you activate each one of the relays, it will cross that center feed line to each antenna signal. And now I'm going to cover how I use the Cat5 cable to control these relays. I want to make sure that I know that each board is working so I have one wire from each board returning back to the LED switch box which is the blue and green for board A and board B. The LEDs for A2 and B2 are ran directly off the selector switch. I'll post another video showing me making the antennas and connecting them into the switch box. And at the end of this video now, I'll be testing and showing you how it works. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.